<laughs> Hello there. Uh, streetcar takeover day one starts today. And once you know it, it got rained out. Well, at least for the drag racing portion of it. Uh, apparently they're gonna try to start the roll racing today. They push all the drag racing to Saturday. Um, so they've tried to like switch some stuff up here recently with streetcar takeover because the Z Max one here in Charlotte is so popular and so overwhelmed uh, with attendance and participants that they're trying to spread load uh, all the racing. However, it has been insanely wet and rainy and the weather has been terrible. I've been battling with the rain all week as well as this car right here. This is Taylor Hedrick's uh, two valve Mustang GT stick shift manual transmission car. It's gone through a whole bunch of updates and we're here at uh what i would like to call a little slice of heaven this is customs by biggin he's got leonard skinner's old tour bus and then the van that leonard skinner was involved in we got some no prep cars a little bit of everything but today we are finally wrapping up taylor's car a whole bunch of chassis updates and a new turbo on here and then we're going to put it on the scales and set the whole chassis up so hopefully tomorrow taylor can do some damage in the stick shift class so enough talking let's get to work all right so taylor uh fast forward about it's been a couple hours now i had to leave to go attend to my family did you know you had to feed those things like wives and kids that actually need food uh so in my absence they have completed the alignment taylor is doing his best i don't know what stance you call that the power stance he's topping off some fluids underneath the car the car is aligned and ready for tomorrow we're uh, nut and bolt checking a couple things racing starts tomorrow we do have a stick shift contender and uh taylor says he's gonna drive it you're gonna drive it tomorrow yeah street car man street it's a street car event street car you gotta drive it street car takeover street cars are gonna take over at least in the stick shift category a whole bunch of gang shit going on in here we um, that. We haven't cranked it since march so. yeah it has not ran since march <laughs> but in the uh the interim here we got menskers going on um uh, Torque boxes, upper and lower. Whose torque boxes are these? Uh, performance Fab. Performance Fab. So, stock-ish suspension. Emphasis on the ish. So we got all of, just a gang of choices here. Uh, and then a Battle Ready 8.8. I think, I don't know if that's a proprietary claim yet. Custom fuel cell for, how, what's the capacity on the fuel cell now, do you know? 15-ish. 15-ish gallons. So my job on the car was basically to tie up all the loose ends after the fabrication. So I made some really grimy down and dirty uh, fuel pump supports, uh, redid the wiring and kind of just connected all the dots, which I've done before on this car, but all the dots have now moved. Um, narrowed rear end, mini tub. And once we get down on the ground, you will see this thing has a killer new stance. So we got work to do, we're out. Should still crash.
biggest tool they got, this is what you get. No. And his name is this, Taylor. This is what you get. And if Taylor goes any faster today, right now his last name's Hedrick, but if he gets quicker today, actually no, this is the joke I thought of this morning. If Taylor was a truck driver, his name would be Taylor Swift. Huh. If Taylor gets any faster, his name would be Taylor Swift. But we're not here to tell terrible dad jokes. We're here to race. And today, I no. You racing in flip flops? I thought you came prepared Dude, for this. Flip flops or boots, all I wear, man. So Taylor is in the stick shift category, as we've already talked about. After a long late night at Biggins, we got the car put back together. It is in one piece, and he's even shook it down today and actually drove it over an hour here, despite the glamping background and the toter home and the trailer. I came with this one, this is a race car. That little tiny black box over there, that is all that Taylor brought to support this habit because as you can see by these stickers across the windshield, this is a legit certified, put a stamp on it, street car. And it has a very good chance today to take home the W in the stick shift category. There are some killers here. However, anything can happen in racing. And then when you couple that with stick shift racing, then it gets even crazier. It's very, very hot today, and the track is very, very greasy. We've seen a couple of uh, unfortunate instances. Luckily, all the drivers are okay. Uh, but we are fueling up and getting ready to go up, and I think uh, we may forego the test kit. We don't really know how this is gonna go. New turbo, that's the HD5594 on this thing. Taylor did a two-step check on the way here, and uh, how would you describe that two-step test today? Pretty rowdy. Pretty rowdy. Substantially rowdy. Um, so we're kind of flying a little blind here. We're taking some stank out of it, uh, and we're gonna see if we can put down the power with all the new changes. Here we go. That's a saying, it means they're really hard to find. Taylor's car is the world's quickest and fastest two valve Mustang, two valve meaning mod motor, but still has a two valve head uh, with a stick shift. So a couple of record holders here and Vlad has been in the high sevens, Taylor has been in the low eights. And if they can all put this together because talking to both of these guys, relatively untested combinations, uh, but we'll see how this shapes up. You're acting real new, Taylor. I haven't done this in a long time. Leave me alone. There you go. Now you should be able to look down. Can you reach the light? Turn off yourself? Yeah. Thanks. All right, do something cool and uh, don't suck.
hear that cloud right now. There you go, boy. Knocking the dust off. Unfortunately, you didn't get the win, but hey, that car has not made a pass in half a year. So, good job, homie. Got back on it and it just didn't build enough boost. I went at 151 to the 60. Um, the car has been a 27, I think. Uh, so still went a 550 to the 8 and put mile an hour on a Supra. So. Yeah, so as you see in the video, uh, we're two mile an hour faster than a Supra, which is kind of crazy. And I'm going to go back and start the clip right here. saw see, I'm that magic of editing magic right there. magic of hollywood um <laughs> what you just saw is and why well, i got to go back and actually you know what that's not gonna work i need to go back and watch the footage and figure out on that staging duel whether or not vlad took more than seven seconds to get in the beams not vlad's fault if he did but they should have had seven second auto start you don't know what that is basically once two cars are in and then Taylor went all the way in, you get three lights, meaning Taylor's ready to go. That means your opponent has seven seconds to get his ass in the beams and be ready. And it really seemed like Taylor kind of got hung out to dry. And it was to the point where the starter was waving the Supra in. And this is just me talking and making more excuses for, I wasn't even in the car, so I'm making excuses for Taylor. I'm saying what Taylor's thinking and doesn't even want to say. But I'm leaving off on that boost, that's, that's the end of it. Bottom line is because he had to come off the throttle and then get back on it, and then there's not a whole lot you can do. But this FT HD 5594 is making some stain. It has shown some potential, and uh, yeah. next time this car comes out, it's going to be nasty. So the next time you see this car, it's going to be what? I'll probably test between mid here and midwest drags. I actually will test. It's on camera. I will test. <laughs> I so, no test test Taylor test. is going to become test Taylor, but now he's pretty fast, so I think we're going to call him Taylor Swift. Easy, easy. Say goodnight, Tay-Tay. Shut your mouth up.